today's Tango topic. Today's Tango topic is an idea that doesn't get talked about a whole lot. Uh, it's, it's sort of uh, a throwaway idea. Uh, and this is, this is a topic that, um, for lack of a better way of putting it, uh, is, is almost, it, it, it's almost an afterthought. But it's not an afterthought. It's actually kind of sort of something that we want to start to think about. And that's, how do you end a dance? Now, I, I, have, to, I have to throw some shade, and, and it's, it's not intentional. It's what has to happen in order to describe this idea. So typically what happens when you, when you think about ending a dance is we end that dance with some kind of tango pose. And this is where I'm throwing some shade. And it's this idea. Yes, that never happens. That absolutely, wholeheartedly, categorically never happens deliberately in social tango. The only time that you see that stuff, the only time that you see that stuff is in a performance. If you're watching some YouTube couple perform, then you will see that idea. Yes, or some variation on a theme. This is not so that we're absolutely crystal clear. This is not how you end a dance in social tango. And if you don't have an idea of what I mean by social tango, please, for the love of God, go look at the Tango Topics Dictionary that's entirely free <clears throat> and look up social tango. I'm not going to describe it to you, but it's essentially what you were doing all night long. Yes? Without the, with, with a whole lot of talking with your friends. The whole reason you went to the dance to begin with is to hang out with your friends and dance. Hence, Social tango. All right. So we are not talking about the pose, one more time, that happens at the end of a song. <coughs> Should have heard that rip. OK. <clears throat> All right. We are not talking about the pose. We're talking about something else. And this is known as the Salida step. Now, I have, a, a, I have one video on this topic and, 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 and another two videos that talk about the Salida step uh, as the opening step to the dance. And that means that when I step onto the dance floor, I step into the line of dance, and then I start my dancing components. Yes? The Salida step uh, is the other, it also has, a, has an ending component. And that's this idea. And it's really, really simple. It can be really, really simple. It doesn't have to be crazy. It's this idea. We're walking along, we're walking along, and I hear the last few notes, and then I step back out of my lane of dance. That's it. That's all we're looking for. Yes, this is one way to end the dance. It's not the only way, and it's not the way that I want to talk about. But this is a common way to end the dance, is to end the dance with a, with a closing sidestep. And again, there's nothing wrong with this idea. So there is something that we, that we do want to start to listen for. Now, uh, I'm going to try and get away with this as much as I can, uh, because right now what you're hearing are a series of ending notes of a, of a particular piece of music. Uh, and that ending note is, is something that we call shave and a haircut in Western music, meaning that, that it's essentially bump, ba -dum, bump, 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 those last two notes is the shave and a haircut. Yes? Um, we want to start to, when we, and, and because we have this fervent desire in, in Western music to, to have closure to our music versus Middle Eastern music and Eastern music, where that music just goes on forever and then kind of sort of like peters out at some point where the players, will, you know, the, the, the musicians are like, all right, I've had enough of that. And they kind of sort of like walk away. And so you hear the music just sort of fade off into nothingness. And, they, and the instruments sort of like stop playing at some point. Um, in Western music, we like to have closure to our music. And, this, so, and this, is same, this same idea is true in Argentine tango, where we actually have closure. And that's what the bump, ba -dum, bump, 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 it's clear. We hear the bump, bump as, OK, we're done. You can actually hear the, the ending note, the ending to a piece of music coming, especially in Argentine tango without getting into the whole ball of wax of, of musical interpretation, those ending notes are kind of sort of important because they're telling you in no uncertain terms, things are wrapping up, things are wrapping up, things are wrapping up, and you, you, better, you better be ready for the things are wrapping up. So here's an idea when you hear things are wrapping up, 
things are wrapping up, things are wrapping up. Here's a really simple idea, and you're going to say to yourself, Miles, that's not flashy. You're right. It's not flashy. There's a reason why it's not flashy. So let's assume for the moment that I hear things are wrapping up, things are wrapping up, things are wrapping up, and she's giggling right now. <clears throat> things are wrapping up, things are wrapping up, and here it is. What did I do? There wasn't anything crazy about that. Ding, exactly right. What did I do is that I came to a clear, clean, decelerated stop and held that position in close embrace for just a moment. And I heard those ending notes of bump, ba -da -dum, bump, 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 boom. That is how you end a dance. It's one way that we want to end the dance. And you're going to ask yourself, why do that? It's kind of sort of boring. Yup, sure is, but here's what happens. The follower hears that as, oh. and that's ideally what you're looking for. This isn't about posing. It's not about showing off. It's about finding closure with your partner. Remember how you started the dance. You started the dance this way, from close embrace facing each other. You want to end the dance essentially the same way. Yes? You want to come to closure with your partner. Create bookends. How you start the dance is how you should end the dance. <clears throat> let me, let me uh, throw this out at you. How you start a dance and how you end the dance should be, operative word in the sentence, should be how you end the dance. So in other words, your starting point and your ending point should be identical to each other. Again, operative word in the sentence, should be. All right. So this is one idea of how to end the dance. Sometimes this idea is not possible. It is not feasible to do what I just did. And the reason is because of the piece of vocabulary that you're in. It doesn't allow for this to occur. So let's assume for just a moment that you're stuck right in the middle of a piece of vocabulary. What do you do with that? Because it's more than likely going to be unstable. How do you make it so that it's stable? I will give you the toy of choice of how to make the unstable stable. And believe it or not, it has everything to do with your needs.